Sample questions. Question number one. Which of the following is not a benefit measurement method? A. Scoring models. B. Economic models. C. Murder board. D. Basic communication model. What do you think? The answer is D. Basic communication model. Benefit measurement methods or in other words, the comparative approach consists of four models. These are scoring models, economic models, murder board and pair review. Question number two. It is expected that project A will produce a benefit of $15,000 two years from now. What is the present value of the benefit if the interest rate is 10% per year? Ok, the answer is B. First, let's remember what was the formula for the present value. Present value equals to future value divided by the result of 1 plus interest rate over number of time periods. For this question, since the interest rate is given as 10%, then R equals to 0 0.10. Number of time period is given as 2 years, therefore N equals to 2. We are looking to today value of $15,000. Therefore, $15,000 is the future value. Let's put all the values into the equation. PV equals to $15,000 over the result of 1 plus 0.10 over 2. This will give us the answer which is 12,396.69. Question number 3. It is expected that project A will produce a benefit of $50,000 two years from now and $20,000 three years from now. What is the present value of the total benefit if the interest rate is 5% per year? In this question, there are two future values. One is the benefit two years from now, which is $15,000. And the other one is the benefit three years from now, which is $20,000. Therefore, we will calculate both the present value of the second year's benefit and the present value of third year's benefit. Then, we will add them in order to calculate the total present value of the cash flow. If we put the values into the formula for PV of second year, the result will be 13,605.44 If you make the same calculation for PV of third year, the result will be 17,276.75 Last calculation we make is to add the two results and we get 30,800.19 Therefore, the answer is D. Question number 4. It is expected that Project A will produce a benefit of $15,000 two years from now and $20,000 three years from now. If the present value of the costs is given as $25,000, what is the net present value? Assume interest rate is 5% per year. Well, this question looks like the third question, isn't it? Only difference is we are given present value of the cost 
and the net present value is S. First, let's remember what the net present value was. Net present value is total present value of benefits minus total present value of costs. Therefore, let's start with the calculation of present value of benefits like we did in the third question. We calculate PV of second year and PV of third year like we did in the previous question. Present value of benefits will then be PV of second year plus PV of third year. Therefore, PV of benefits equals to 30,882.19. Since the PV of cost is given in the question, we can now calculate the net present value. Calculation gives us the result which is also the answer to the question. Question number 5. Which of the following projects is the best due to given net present value? MPV or project A is $500,000. MPV or project B is $750,000. MPV of project C is $600,000. MPV of project D is $825,000. Let's remember what the net present value was. Net present value is the total present values of benefits minus total present values of costs. From this definition, we understand that Higher net present value means higher benefits and lower costs. Therefore, it is meaningful to select the project having highest net present value. If we look at the NPVs of the given projects, we see that project D has the highest NPV. Therefore, answer of the question is D. Project D. Question number 6. Which of the following statement is false? Higher the MPV, better the project. Higher the IRR, better the project. Higher the payback period, better the project. Higher the benefit cost ratio, better the project. Let's think about the definitions and the formulas first. Then we will comment on the statements. Net present value is the total present value of benefits minus total present value of costs. From this definition, we understand that higher net present value means higher benefits and lower costs. Therefore, higher MPV means better project. Remember from the internal rate of return chapter that IRR calculation is very complicated. In order to make comment on the questions related to IRR, just think this like an interest rate. Since higher interest rate is better, higher IRR is better. Therefore, higher IRR means better project. As it is understood from its name, benefit cost ratio is total benefits divided by total costs. In order to increase the value of benefit cost ratio, you need to either increase total benefits or decrease total costs. So, higher benefit cost ratio means higher total benefits and lower total costs. Therefore, Higher benefit cost ratio means better project. Payback period is the time required for invested money to be repaid. Since we want our invested money to be repaid as soon as possible, we would prefer the project 
having lowest payback period. So lower, not higher payback period means better project. Therefore, the answer is C. This was the end of the project selection methods chapter. Please solve the following realistic exam questions lecture in Udemy quiz format. You will find realistic PMP-like questions in that lecture.